Okay, so apparently for a lot of people out there uh, who don't know how to encrypt and decrypt files, I have just a solution for you. Today's video is going to be about this program called the GNU Privacy Guard, or GPG, GNU PG, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, basically, what it is, is a basically a program to encrypt and decrypt files for you, as well as manage your encryption keys. So, that's actually... I'm actually going to show you how this works. So, um, in order to use it, you know, you type the GPG command, and then we're going to, going to generate a full key using the command gen, full gen key, and then it will tell you, oh, what kind of encryption do you want? Default's fine. Uh, how many bits do you want? Really, the more bits, the the harder it is to crack, uh, but you can't really go wrong with the maximum for 4096 uh, and then I'll tell you when it wants to expire usually this is um, usually if you want your key to expire you can choose one of these but I don't want mine to expire and this is correct yes and now I actually ask for your real name uh, I'm going to give it mine and your email address uh, please er, it doesn't actually email you anything. This is just for information reasons. You don't actually have to give it a real email address. I could give it that if I want to. Oh, okay. Well, it has to be an email address, but it doesn't have to be a valid email address. So I could do that at cool.com. There we go. And then a comment. I guess I'll say test key. There you go. And it'll ask you if everything's all good. And you could do capital O for OK. And then it'll ask you for a passphrase. Uh, you can really give it whatever passphrase you want. I'm going to do the good old 1, 2, 3, 4. And it'll tell you, oh, you entered something that's insecure. And you can enter a new passphrase or just go with the insecure one. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4. And then it's going to generate your key. Just give it a moment. There you go. And as you can see, we have our new key. And so if you go uh, GPG list keys, we have the two. These two are already mine, but we also have our new key right here. And so now what we can do is with our new key, we can actually encrypt and decrypt files now. So Let's create a new file and let's put this text in it. Uh, just do test text. There we go. And we're going to put this in a file called test. Yeah, just test. And you'll see that we have a new file test. And let's just make sure. Yep, test text. Okay, so now we're going to encrypt, encrypt the contents of that file. Go ahead. Can you go ahead and run GPG? Dash E for encrypt, and then name of the file test, and it'll tell you to spe uh, specify user user ID. So you can type in a user ID here, but we can also do when we're encrypting file, we can do dash R, and then the recipient, which I'm going to use this email address right here. So <laughs> kind of wish I chose something shorter, but R E Q R yeah, R E Q rqe at cool.com and oh I think I put that in the wrong order uh, recipient first then what you want to encrypt so r r e q r q I really, really wish I, should, <laughs> I chose something better but there we go and it doesn't spit out anything but if you check you can actually see that the file is encrypted and let's actually remove the original. So now all we have is just the encrypted file. And so if we try seeing what's in there, it's just a bunch of gobbledygook. Nothing, nothing really useful there. But what we can do now is we can basically we just secured our file now. So if we want to decrypt it, we can run gpg d and then give it the name of the file. In this case, it's test.gpg. And it'll ask you for your password. In this case, it's one, two, three, four. And it'll go ahead and decrypt it. And 
you can see there's our original text. Uh, and if you want to actually put that into a file, you can just go ahead and pipe it into just test. And you can see that it's there. And so we successfully encrypted and decrypted a key or a file with our keys. Um, so now what we can do is you can also, of course, uh, like I said, you can also list all your keys that you have if you're ever, if you have um, keeping track of them. But you can also um, export and import keys. So to import a key, you really like to do is run GPG import and then the file you want to import the key from. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. But if you want to export it, um, you can run. Uh, let's see. You can run export. Uh, we can give it the file. Oh, we can give it. Uh, it was export. Then actually, I would probably have to. I have to recall the email again. It was a very, very random email. Um, let's see, list keys. Yeah, it's it's that. Um, so we can go ahead and do that. Uh, uh, export, and then R E Q R Q E at cool dot com, and <laughs> it'll give us all this gibberish because we have to tell it what we want to export to so we can actually yeah, let's clear that we can actually specify um, uh, what format we want which is armor which is basically just plain text really exports to the plain text and there we go you can see this is our uh, public key that we can export if you want to export a private key all you have to do is replace export with export secrets and then I'll actually ask you for your passphrase, but yeah. I mean, of course, I don't really care that this gets leaked out on the internet, but because this is just a random key I just generated. Um, so yeah, it's, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, but yeah, that is it's pretty long though. Um, but yeah, if you want to redirect that into a file, I can put it in uh, key, oh, key.upg and I can do that and there you go and you can you can share that with people you want to you know encrypt and decrypt files with and you know in, uh, exchange files privately and securely and so that's been GNU, uh, GNU PG or the GNU Privacy Guard pretty interesting program pretty useful program uh, definitely recommend it uh, but yeah that's that's really it so yeah see you next time